Well, hey everybody, I wanted to tell you about this video, show it to you, but you gotta, well, you gotta just like watch it and, and understand what's being said and why it's being said at this critical time now in our history of what is reality. So everything that you thought you knew and that was told that was a conspiracy, it's all come to truth about what the Biden crime family has done and why they have done it. So stay tuned. You're going to hear it from the news itself. Fox News alert. Everything primetime has been saying about the FBI and the Biden family has just been confirmed. For years, we've told you the FBI knew everything the Bidens were up to. The cash, the Chinese diamonds, American policy for sale. Not only was Biden blackmailing other countries and other countries blackmailing him, but the FBI was blackmailing Biden. Senator Chuck Grassley just announced that the Federal Bureau of Investigation has had 40 informants inside the Biden family for the last 15 years. What does that mean? It's exactly what you think. 40 FBI informants going back to the time Joe Biden was vice president, have been providing criminal information to FBI field offices throughout the country. Forty FBI informants have been feeding the Bureau exactly what Joe Biden, James Biden, and Hunter Biden have been doing all over the world. Primetime isn't sure the FBI had this many informants working on the Trump campaign. So what does it mean that the FBI has had the Biden family wired and what does it mean that the FBI hasn't done a thing? Well, it tells me that the FBI knows all of the president's dirty laundry and is blackmailing him. Because Senator Grassley also revealed that multiple FBI field offices tried to run this criminal information back to headquarters and were blocked at every corner. This criminal activity was shut down during the Trump impeachment, shut down before the last election, and it's still being shut down today. Grassley says FBI headquarters deliberately smeared criminal information coming from FBI informants about the Biden family as foreign disinformation, when in fact, after an exhaustive examination, there's never been any information that any of this has been foreign. Foreign. Trump has been saying since the very beginning, We've got it all. Now I'm beginning to understand and believe that that is a true statement. So what we're seeing is the beginning of the storm. It's also the beginning of full disclosure. It's a wonderful place to be at, but it is still kind of risque, kind of dangerous. There's a lot of things that could go right, and there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Even the FBI informant that said the Bidens shook down Ukraine for a $10 million bribe, that was vetted and found not to be foreign disinformation. But it gets worse. The FBI's attempt to follow up on the $10 million Ukrainian Biden bribe was shut down. The FBI informant who said there's 17 tapes of Biden talking about bribes, that too has been shut down despite that there's no evidence that this is foreign disinformation. And while all of this is going on, the FBI has been actively planting information against Donald Trump, doctoring emails and disseminating fake dossiers. The FBI used Biden to get revenge on Trump. They got a dirty politician elected so they could defeat a politician who caught them trying to frame him and fire their director. And now we have a compromised president in the White House being protected by a rogue gang of sick agents. And the American people are the real victims of this stupid inside game. You're you better believe it because as an inside deal, the people that are in the actual so-called truth movement have been trying to tell people this for years that we were going to see this time when all this stuff is going to be disclosed. It's a psyop within a psyop, and things are not what they seem to be. From this point here on out, I'm going to have to 
make more of these kinds of videos so I can actually explain to people what's really going on. Not that I know, but I do know this through the resurrected power of the living Christ inside of each and every atom of each and every one that is realizing that they're becoming awake to this information needs to know that that is what it is happening. The great awakening, the time of revealing is happening. Yes, we're in so-called the last time, last days. I hate to even say time, last days. So as we move forward in time, there's going to come a critical situation where you have got to go within your own being and realize that the truth is inside of each and every one of us. And we activate that truth with love. We get the wisdom of the Holy Spirit through that love of discerning the fact that we want to know the truth. And you have to be careful about what you hear and see. So I'm advising everybody to cut their cell phones off, cut the TV, unplug it from the wall. Only allow yourself to search for your own modality of hearing the truth. It sounds complicated, but it's easy. You got the ability to do it. The ones that can hear me, you're awakening to the truth. The ones that I've been telling these people this since 1980, 19, let me get the, get the number right, 2008. I've been awake since August the 17, 2003, but I didn't even understand what was going on until about 2008, especially when it came to 9-11 being an inside job. So what we're seeing is really a psyop of an inside job of a psyop of an inside job. Enough said. Information against Donald Trump, doctoring emails and disseminating fake dossiers. The FBI used Biden to get revenge on Trump. They got a dirty politician elected so they could defeat a politician who caught them trying to frame him and fire their director. And now we have a compromised president in the White House being protected by a rogue gang of sick agents. And the American people are the real victims of this stupid inside game. You're paying more for everything. The border's wide open and crime is sky high. And we have two proxy wars that Biden can't manage. All because the FBI believes it's more powerful than democracy.